to a lot of different eye washes today, which 18th century they call clear reading. Cool, cool. So we would use that. I've heard, seen that term for corn. Corn sorghum? Yeah. Staghorn. That's the staghorn, that's why. Or hard corn. No. And actually this is, if we grind this down, we get a product called ammonium carbonate, which is a precursor to baking powder. Oh, really? Oh, Keeps wow. cookies from getting hard, you can um, use it in the cakes, whatever. Uh, but if we grind it down, it looks like this. That's our ammonium carbonate. And they use it, actually still used to make a cookie called a springerly cookie. Which comes out at Christmas time. It's a square cookie has an anise taste to it. But those are from factory elk or deer or something, right? Factory, not, no, not these, real deer. These are real. <laughs> I'm just joking. Everything here is real. Yeah. No, no, no. I just, I'm well, just not joking. Obviously, we never get. And then we use it to make smelling salts also. Oh, yeah. Okay. Which you can they imagine. Just they're just well, you can smell some ammonium carbonate if you like. Do it. It's Dude. very, very potent. Yeah, I know. It's like cleaning ammonia. That very it's exactly it's like it's ammonia, yeah. Very strong. It irritates the eyes, irritates the nose. It would be good for waking you up if you're fainting. It does. That's, that's, that's not what they're sticking under the box. There's nose between rounds, is it? Uh, they used to use amyl nitrite sometimes for that, uh, but they could use something just like a, Just to yeah. bring them to. I mean, if you ever smell cleaning ammonia, that's what it's That's exactly like. what it smells like. Yeah, so it, yeah. Wake your Whoa. Right. Yeah, very potent. Uh, cream tartar. Oh, <laughs> uh, cream and tartar. So yeah. we get cream and tartar. It's the process when we ferment grapes. It washes down the sides of that. It's the end product in grape fermentation. Really? It's all wine making. And we would use this in 18th century as a downward purge. Oh, so what about A laxative. Oh, to run things through exactly. to the other Exactly. Downward one. purge. You know what a downward purge is? Makes it poop. Yeah. <laughs> it be quite blunt. Yeah, it's a, it's a poop drug. Very quickly. We have a lot of poop drugs in the 18th century. Yeah. Uh, also, for cleaning copper pots, it's a very good abrasive. And also, it's good for tooth powder. Okay. So if you want to brush your teeth, we have 18th century tooth powder here with cream and tartar, cinnamon, and dragon's blood. Oh, dragon's blood? Is that dragon's a blood. Or, where's dragon's blood come from? Dragons, dragons of course. No. <laughs> you can't kill a dragon. Do you just let them know seriously? You have a well, if they're bleeding, you can collect them. They're endangered species and dragons. They're not endangered anymore, are they? Oh, I don't know. Only on Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> so here's a dragon's blood tree. Oh, wow. It's a very pretty canopy tree. It grows off the coast of Yemen and Africa. It's a little archipelago. piece of land comes out called Socotra. And we would use that in the 18th century. It's a good astringent. It helps constrict tissue. So it'd be good for your teeth. If your lungs. Yes, nice. And then you wouldn't have to use the molar for it. Exactly, if you brush it. We don't know how long people are brushing teeth, though. No, it's not really sure. It's not really a good thing. But, you know, you can use, uh, we have toothbrushes in the 18th century made of warm bristles, so it's nice and stiff. Uh, you can use a sponge, you can use a piece of wood, and just scrape your teeth. Burnt toast, people use just to wash and brush your teeth. A lot of different products we use. Yeah, yeah. Other people ask questions. I'm sorry, I could stay here and just ask questions all day long. <laughs> questions come up. That's a good thing. Anyone else? No questions. So, any other illnesses? Yeah. Doctors, the, is the, um, healthcare is a doctor in the 18th century. So, 